Now looking at 7.2, they say two small spheres A and B are fixed in place and separated by 2 times 10 minus 2, um, or rather to the power minus 2 meters in a vacuum. Sphere A has a charge of 1 times 10 to the power minus 6 coulombs and sphere B has a charge of negative 1 minus 10 to the power minus 6 coulombs and they say it is as shown in the diagram. So firstly, they say state Coulomb's law. Okay, so we know that uh, the electrostatic force between two point charges is directly proportional to the magnitude of the charge and inversely proportional to the square of their distance apart, right? So please remember, it's just stating what we see here on this equation, okay? directly proportional to the product of the, those charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distances. Right, now they say to us, uh, calculate the number of electrons, okay, of excess electrons on sphere B. So remember that um, the charge on a, you know, a point charge or, you know, on a sphere that shows us the number of electrons that are in excess if, we've got a negative charge. If we've got a, neg a positive charge, then it means that it shows us the number of electrons that are deficient, or you can also say that um, protons that are in excess, right? So, um, right, so we're going to say the number of electrons, that will be the charge on B, divided by the unit charge of an electron, right? So we're going to say this is going to be negative 1 times 10 to the power minus 6. This is divided by negative 1.6, which is the unit charge of an electron. Please remember that you are given this value right in your data sheet. In this case, uh, that's times 10 to the power minus 19. And so uh, let's take that quickly. So we've got negative 1 exponent minus 6 divided by negative 1.6 exponent minus 19. And so this gives us the number of electrons that are in excess at 6.25 times 10 to the power 12. And remember, these are electrons. Okay, right. So those are the number of excess electrons in that sphere. Right, and then the next question says, uh, using a suitable calculation, show that the number of electrons that must be removed from A and put onto B to make the electrostatic force that acts on each sphere an attractive force whose magnitude is 45 newtons, okay, equals uh, that whole number. So, these should be the number of electrons that we must remove from A and place onto B. Right, now, um, firstly, so whatever electrons would be removed from A, let's just say they would cause a charge Q, right? So which means now the charge on A would be 1 plus that charge Q. Okay, but also similarly, I want you to think about it. Whatever the number of Q is, that's the number of additional electrons that have been removed, right? Um, those electrons would now be placed onto B, making B even more negative, right? So in this case, that means that it will be more negative by how much? By the number Q as well right? So in this case, the charge on each one increases by a value of Q. And we know that the force between the two is 45 newtons, right? So, uh, well, I don't have a lot of space here. So I'm going to say, well, the force would be K, the charge on A, right? Uh, the charge on B divided by R squared, so I know this is going to be 45, that's 9 times 10 to the power 9, okay? And the charge on A, remember, this will now be 1. And remember, when you substitute here, 
we do not show the sign, right? So that's 1 times 10 to the power minus 6 plus Q, right? The added charges. But we also have another, uh, the same value for B as well. 1 times 10 to the power minus 6. Remember, we don't show the value or rather the sign of the charge, right? And this is divided by uh, the distance between them, which is 0 0.02 all squared now ladies and gents i'm going to try and continue my calculation right i'm going to uh, continue it over there okay right now i want you to note we've got 45.0 over 1 right so if we cross multiply okay i'm going to take that uh, 45 times 0 0.02 all squared and I'm going to divide by that 9 times 10 exponent 9 right so which means 1 plus in fact no 1 times 10 to the power negative 6 plus q squared is equal to okay that's 45 times 0 0.02 squared okay let's find that value that's 45 times 0 0.02 squared. And I'm going to divide that by 9 to the power 9. So this gives us 2 times 10 to the power minus 12. Right, and we are going to now take the square root of that value, right? Because I want to be left with 1 times 10 to the power minus 6 plus q. Okay, so the square root of our answer is that value over there, right? And I am now going to subtract. So this is 1.41 times 10. In fact, it's the previous answer that we got. That's minus 8. Okay, so this will... I'm going to subtract from that answer 1 exponent 1 times 10 minus 6. Right, so uh, my answer, okay, in scientific mode, that's 4.14 times 10 to the power minus 7. And this is in coulombs, right? So, in this case, this is our answer in terms of the charge that was added. But we wanted to find out how many electrons were added, right? So, we're going to take this charge and divide it by the unit charge of an electron. And again, so I'm going to say, well, number of electrons, that's Q, divided by E. And so... This gives us 4.14 times 10 minus 7. And this is divided by 1.6 times 10 to the power negative 19. Okay, and... Right, so I'm taking that entire answer. Okay, and I am dividing it. Uh, I think I've just did something there. Dividing it by 1.6 uh, minus 19. Okay. Uh, in fact, took that answer. Okay. So that's 2.59 times 10 to the power 12, which is exactly what we were asked to prove there. So this is 2.59 times 10 to the power 12. And these are the electrons that were added all right and that's how the cookie crumbles ladies and gents all right i hope that you got that and um, well we are going to move on to the next question